can you box and train every single day? Absolutely you can. But, and this is a big but it depends on what sort of boxing training you're doing. If you're sparring every day, that is a terrible idea and you should 100% not do that. But there is different things you can do and you can't do. And on this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I recommend you do for boxing training, how often you do it. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how much training I did when I was training for the Olympic Games. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer and former undefeated professional. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing, how to punch harder, how to punch faster, everything boxing. So if you wanna get better at boxing, make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing I wanna point out here, one size doesn't fit all. It all depends on your goal. If your goal is to be a world champion, it's different to what sort of training you should be doing if your goal is to do and just to lose weight and do this for fitness which is different again if your goal is to get better at boxing but not to compete now the first thing I want to talk about is if you're just doing boxing for fitness learn a new skill while at the same time you know losing weight and getting in great shape and it's also great for your brain as well so this is what you want might be training for if this is the case then yes you can box every day but I don't recommend anyone boxing seven days a week we need to recover recovery is what's going to help make you better because if you don't let your body recover you're never going to be able to you know get better at boxing and not be able, you're not be able to perform better in the gym and after a full video giving you the best ways to recover from boxing training click the link below and definitely check that video out after this because like i said recovery is key if your body is not ready to go and do another session, you're going to perform less. You're going to get into worse habits and you're never going to get better no matter what your goal is. So watch that video after this one and it'll really help you. Now let's go into should you be boxing every day or how, how much should you be boxing? I definitely think you should be boxing more than less, doing as much boxing as you can do. Not seven days a week, although you can, but not seven days a week, but doing boxing multiple times or even adding little things into your boxing sessions. What should your boxing sessions be? They shouldn't all be, like I mentioned before, sparring. If you are doing this for fitness, you might not be sparring, but shoulder and body sparring is fine. But then, you know, mix it up. You know, you could do three days of hard boxing training, two days of light boxing training. And when I'm talking about hard, I'm talking about on the heavy bag doing longer rounds with the shorter rest and on the easy days is talking about just doing a few rounds of shadow boxing and mix that in with your other training. You might be doing some strength work as well. You can always mix in your boxing with that. Now, if you're boxing to compete, again, you still don't want to be boxing seven days a week. You don't want to be hard training every single day. Your body needs to recover. You can work on recovery in your boxing training as well, where you might come in the gym, you might just do 10 two minute rounds of shadow boxing between 50 and 80% uh, intensity, where it's nice and easy working on form and technique. That's an easy day in a boxing gym. I've done a full video on uh, my boxing sessions as a pro. You can also watch that one after this as well, where I talk about the sessions that I did when I was training to be a professional boxer, I'll give you that full workout below as well. But yeah, you shouldn't be working out hard every single day in boxing. Your body can't take it. It's too much impact on your body. Even though I think boxing isn't that high of an impact workout compared to a lot of workouts out there, you still don't want to be doing it every single day. And mixed up the sessions, hard to easy, easy to hard, and that sort of thing, but recovery is key. Now, before I tell you about what training I did for the Olympics, I just want to give you something for free, other than the value I give you on my videos, and it's this. Yes, I want to give you it for totally free. This is a Shroom Tech by Onnit, and this will really help with your training. It boosts your exercise volume. It assists with your aerobic performance. And also, this is certified drug-free. It's got great ingredients. And like I said, you can have seven days free of this. Give it a try and thank me after. Just click the link below, seven days for, for free from this. And also, you can go to onnit.com forward slash boxing and get 10% off their entire website. Okay, so... What did I used to do when I was training for the Olympics? We used to train in Sheffield at the AIS Centre. This is the gym where Anthony Joshua trains now. And we used to go down there on Monday. We would train four times on Monday. We would train four times on Tuesday. We would train four times on Wednesday. We would train twice on Thursday. And then we would leave and go home. So that's 14 workouts in four days. Now you might be thinking, what? the hell that is a lot of training where we were full-time athletes and making sure we were getting that rest in between but the sessions varied they weren't all 
hard sessions where we pound on the heavy bag for eight three minute rounds. No, some sessions would last 20 minutes. We would do a 20 minute intense run. And then some sessions would last a little bit longer. Some sessions were just working on technique. We were always focusing on different things all the time to really help uh, you know, get us to that Olympic level as well, working with world-class trainers. I'm gonna do a full video on my Olympic training program and the exact workouts that I did uh, later on this year. So make sure you subscribe to this channel for so you don't miss that video and turn your notifications on. Like I mentioned about recovery, you can click here and get my full video on the best ways to recover from boxing training. Click here, this video is full of value that you're gonna love, click here.